Welcome back to the Force 9 YouTube channel. Welcome back to Football Manager 2018 and the Liverpool save. And in today's video, uh, we're going to be playing the Champions League quarterfinals. We drew uh, Atletico Madrid, which, considering the other teams still in the competition, isn't too bad. If you're enjoying the series, make sure you drop a like down below, leave comments, and if you want to see videos as and when they're up on YouTube, do hit that subscribe button. So yeah, today, uh, last eight of the Champions League, we saw off Leipzig last episode after being 4-3 down from the first leg. We won 2-0 at Anfield, so we've qualified for the cup finals. Also, uh, there is a game in between, uh, which I think is against Burnley. Uh, I won't be showing the full game of that, I'll just be showing any goals or any other big moments in the game, cards or anything like that. So uh, not going to be doing that completely live. Uh, there's a couple of games off screen to go through as well, so we'll do that first. And the first of those games was the FA Cup 6th round against Queen's Park Rangers, a game that we won 2-1. Mohamed Salah opened the scoring at the end of the first half. 43rd minute was the time um, Salah was the best player on the day. Queen's Park Rangers equalised in the second half. Idrissa Silla got the uh, equaliser on the 69th minute. A decent performance by uh, Silla. Got a goal up front, so that's good for him. Blotti did get the winner in the 82nd minute and... Uh, got a goal to his name again so uh qualified for the uh, semi-finals where we've got Southampton uh at Wembley again we beat them two episodes ago in the EFL Cup final at Wembley on penalties we're facing them again at Wembley this time it's for the FA Cup uh in the semi-finals in the other draw I can't remember who it is um, the other two teams are Watford and Manchester United now I have history against Watford in FA Cup finals uh, we lost to them in a final, I think, when I was managing Stoke. So uh, I don't really want Watford, but then Man United. It could be a Liverpool United FA Cup final, which would be, you know, a huge game and would probably sell out Wembley and be like, a, that would be probably one of the highest attendances in England's history, probably. The other game played off screen was a 3 0 win over Brighton and Hove Albion. And uh, Daniel Sturridge played this game in place of Andrea Bellotti, and he only went and scored a bloody hat trick, didn't he? Sturridge has been, you know, on the bench for the majority of the season. Bellotti's been, you know, a great player for us. I think he's got about 25 goals in the league, maybe more than that in all competitions. I don't know how many it is exactly. But for this game, Sturridge stepped up. A boy did he step up, a hat trick. 14th minute, 38th minute, and a penalty on the 50th minute. Brighton also ended the game with 10 men. Pascal Grosch getting sent off on 76 minutes after two yellow cards. Just a completely dominant performance. Star is doing great. We defended brilliantly. Milner did pick up a bit of a knock towards the end of the game, but um, I hope he'll be okay for this Atletico ties. Brighton just not in the game at all. Just one shot on target. So, yeah, just a comfortable performance. So, yeah, today, both legs of the Atletico tie. The Burnley game in between. If there's any big moments there, I'll show you those. There's only a few games left in the league. And do you know what? I didn't realise this, but without Brighton game... If results had gone our way, we would have won the league and we'd still be in March. We're now at April 4th for this Atletico game. Uh, there are three, seven games left in the league. And as you can see, we have two games in hand and we are 15 points clear. So if we beat Burnley, we will win the league with six games to spare, which is incredible. I think even the next point we get, will win the league. So as long as we just don't lose then we'll be champions. It's, it's been the easiest league campaign I've probably ever had. And I don't know where it's come from, but it's good. And um, Because we have actually now qualified for the top four, we are in the Champions League, our transfer budget sits at £104 million, which is a nice tally. And we can get some brilliant players in uh, in the summer if we are going to do a second season. We'll only not do a second season if we win everything this season. If, if we don't win every competition, I'll do one more season. Anyway, let's get on with uh, the first leg against Atletico. Again, we're playing away from home. Now, I think this is their new stadium, if I'm not mistaken. Estadio Wanda Metropolitana, which I think is their new stadium. Because uh, the other one's been knocked down quite recently. So, uh, again, we're away from home in the first leg. Same thing happened with Leipzig. Luckily, we got three away goals that time. But we'll see if we're lucky again this time. The other game today, Tottenham against Barcelona. There's some good ties in this uh, quarterfinals. Of all the teams left... I would think Atletico would be one of the most favourable ones, considering you still got Barca and Bayern and Real Madrid left. So, I think we've had an alright draw. There's still four English teams left, which is incredible. I think we're going to stick with this team as well. It was the team that beat Brighton 3-0. They're in good 
stead fitness wise they're playing well so we're just going to leave it again you can't drop storage after scoring a hat trick so he's staying out there Belotti's going to be on the bench uh, we do need to get a midfielder on the bench though. Mane is injured at the moment, so it's not going to be him. Lalana's not registered. So I think we'll go. We'll put Robertson on the bench. Uh, how long is Mane out for? I didn't even know. Four days and two weeks. So uh, that's going to be a shame missing him out for a while. But recently, Mane's been, you know, kind of average. He's got 14 goals and nine assists to his name, but other, recently, he's not been as involved. Oxley Chamberlain is, um, again, you know, probably about the same. I think his last game was good, but after that, look, he's been very average. 6.7 out of the last five games. Isn't great. Atletico Madrid with the two up top. A straight 4-4-2. Our black, Philip Luiz, uh, Jimenez, Godin, Vasalco, Carrasco, Coque, Gabi, Vitolo, Griezmann, and uh, Diego Costa. Torres is on the bench. Uh, Vieto is on the bench. Gamero. Um, Savage, a player that I looked at signing, actually. You know, another former Man City defender. We do have Nostalgic. Guys, show me what you can do to keep our run going. And uh, there we go. Good team talk. It's going to be a good match, I think. Okay, let's play the match. Here we go. So, Atletico kick off. Uh, now, the thing here is not... Try and avoid defeat. If we are going to lose, try and make it by one goal and try and get an away goal or two in there. That's going to be the idea for this away leg. It's just... I don't want to end up with having loads of work to do when we get to Anfield. First highlight of the game here, 13th minute, Roberto Firmino with the ball and he's dispossessed by a Gabby. Here is Carrasco for Atletico and then Oblak with the ball up pitch and finds Antoine Griezmann and the Frenchman running down that left flank. Matip has got no chance of catching him and Costa's there and Costa scores 13 minutes. Atletico draw first blood. Not a great start to the game by us. Griezmann in all the space in the world. Now the left back, Moreno was, I don't know where Moreno was in all this. He's probably about here. No, that's Milner. Where is Moreno? No, it'd be the right back anyway, wouldn't it? So yeah, Johnny was far forwards, and he didn't drop back. So yeah, that's why he had all that space. And now they've got a free kick, and there's only a few minutes after that goal, and uh, it's a header towards goal by Koke Mignolet with an easy catch. We're going to need an away goal, I think, if we're going to get through this tie. We could get one here. Mohamed Salah on the ball. Here is Alex Oxlade Chamberlain, and the Looks for Milner, finds Milner, and Milner's shot uh, cross is blocked. Oxlade Chamberlain again. Milner's just gone to ground, and there was no one around him for yards. Koke wins the ball there, and then there's a clearance. And this is how they got their other goal. And Griezmann again has got the better of John Matip. And this is almost an instant replay of that goal. And it's happened again. Almost exactly the same goal. And it's 2-0. And it's two goals in five minutes. What's going on on this left-hand side or right-hand side? I don't know. But that was almost exactly the same. As the first goal, Griezmann down that left flank. Matip nowhere near him. And again, Johnny's nowhere to be seen. All right, but we're, we're leaving Johnny back. Full back defend. Um, Matip can cover. Not going too well in the early stages here. Atletico in this first half have um, been much better than us. But possession's equal. But Atletico have just broken really well. Um, what are we on? We're on standards. Uh, let's try and control the game. We're going to need some away goals here because 2-0 down, not where you want to be. And we haven't even played half this match yet. We're only half an hour in. All right, I'm going to say push forward. Not a shot on target for us yet today. We have one now, but we're coming up to half time. And uh, first half, Atletico have just dominated the game. And two goals that were almost identical conceded. It's not good. And now Oxlade Chamberlain has picked up a knock. And there's a highlight here just before half time. Atletico passing it around the back. Here's Gabby to Koke. Gabby again. We're, well, we're, we're pressuring him now, but again, they're coming forward. Here's Carrasco. And now Diego Costa is one on one. He's on a hat trick, and that's a poor finish. Costa looking for a first half hat trick. And thankfully, that's half time. Um, Atletico much better. And uh, yeah, we've not really helped ourselves here. I need to see a much better showing from you in the second half. We'll start the second half, but if we have. No like difference made by the hour, then I'll start looking at making some substitutions. We've already given the ball away. We just haven't got into the game here, have we? It's a, it's not good. Um, show some passion, I'm going to say to the guys. An away goal would be... You no, know, 2-1 wouldn't be bad. An away goal is what we need. Whether we get one or not is another thing. Let's try and counter-attack, because we're not having a lot of the ball here. Um, they've got it again here. Now, Costa to uh, Griezmann. And, uh, Griezmann... Looking for a way through, and luckily that did just go wide. 
But we're going to have to make some substitutions here. Sturridge, after his hat trick last game, has uh, probably not even had a shot today. We've only had three for the whole game. Okay, we're going to leave Henderson out there. Milner is going to come off. We're going to bring on Emre Chan, and we're going to play him as uh, the Regista. We're also going to take off uh, Firmino and bring on Philippe Coutinho. Leave him as the advanced playmaker. Two changes, hopefully. That helps things out a bit. Let's uh, right. We're not going to counter. We're going to actually attack. Uh, we're going to go a bit more direct as well. We're going to pump the ball into the box. Let's see what happens here. We're still two 0 down. It's not terrible. It could be a lot worse. We've got a corner here. What can we do with this? It's out to Oxlade Chamberlain. It was blocked, and then Sturridge with the shot, and it's gone in. Just I think it hit both posts. I'm not quite sure. We'll see the replay. But we do have a goal back. Crucially, it's an away goal. Let's see this again in 3D. It was in 3D anyway. But Jordan Henderson. Oxlade Chamberlain's shot was deflected. Mohamed Salah to Sturridge. It bounced off of one of their players, I think, and uh, hit the post and then just rolled over the line. So Sturridge uh, is staying out there for now. And we do have a goal back. So we could yet yeah, get a draw from this. It's going to be difficult, but we'll give it a good shot. We're going to encourage them after that. You know, you've got one. You can get another one. 15 minutes left. We've already made two subs. I don't want to leave my last sub too late. But I think we'll do it about now. We're going to bring on Balotti and get another striker up there. We're going to move Coutinho to the left. And we're going to go two up top and bring on Andrea Balotti. Uh, going to move Sturridge to the poacher. Balotti is the advance forward. And all three changes made. Let's see if we can get an equaliser here. I don't want to go overload though. Because if they get a third goal then that makes our job much harder. So... I think we'll just leave it at this and hope for the best in the second leg. Late free kick here for Atletico. It's out to Carrasco. Uh, Moreno wins the ball. And that's the full-time whistle. Atletico 2, Liverpool 1. It's not bad. It could be. It could have been worse. So like I said, the in-between game against Burnley, I'll just show goals. And uh, if there's any cards or anything like that, any red cards, I'll show you those. But that's all we're going to see from that. And then we'll jump straight into the second leg against Atletico at Anfield. I'm not going to show the whole, as much as this is an important game for us that we're one point away from the title. Three matches in a in a episode is going to be too long, so we are only going to show goals from this, and hopefully we can come out as a league champions. Okay, so this team a few changes made. Belotti is up front. Sally moves to the right. Coutinho on the left. Uh, Chan's in Venison, and Klein is in for Johnny. So that's the changes we've made. And it's 1-0 after just two minutes. Andrea Bolotti with a free hit, pretty much. It fell to him, and he just had the goalkeeper to beat. Easy goal. It's Milner to Roberto Firmino, and then Ward just slid it straight into the path of Bolotti. That's one of the easiest goals he'll score all season. 2-0, 14 minutes played. Mohamed Salah. Uh, Bolotti this time sets up the goal. 2-0. Uh, Bolotti was just unchallenged as he ran forward, and then just laid off Mo, Mo Salah. Easy goal for him to score. It's been easy picking so far, but only just the one shot. It was a decent chance, but they're just not having a good time at the moment. Milner's picked up a bit of a knock. I think he will have to come off. So Jordan Henderson will just make the straight swap there. That's full time, 2-0. We have won the league. So there you go, league champions. Burnley actually defended pretty well in that second half. And uh, Tommy Eaton made a few saves. So in the end, they did pretty well. So there's the confirmation then. Liverpool clinch Premier League title. There we go. And we've got a double along with that and the EFL Cup. And still two more trophies to go. The FA Cup, we're in the semi-finals. And of course, the Champions League where we've got to overturn a deficit against Atletico. But hopefully we'll do all right. Okay, second leg against Atletico. Now Lovren has picked up a knock and he's probably not in ideal condition to play. So uh, we are going to start at Nastasic today. Also Milner's not ideal. Get Henderson in. Uh, we'll go Robertson in place of Moreno. We'll go back to Oxlade Chamberlain. Firmino is going to drop to the bench. If we can win, fine. Clean sheet would be fantastic, but let's see what happens. But we have to win. Draw's not going to do it. You know, we managed to beat Leipzig after being behind from that first leg. So hopefully we'll have the same success here today. Madrid, though, they are unbeaten in their last 16 games. But after the last game, let's just continue with what we were doing. So... Hopefully, we will do well. Co oh, Diego Costa is off. Injured. Uh, interesting, because he's got both goals in that first leg. Vieto is on. Uh, let's ask the push forward, because we haven't seen any highlights yet in this game. And we're coming up to half an hour. Two shots for either side. Possession very equal, but no highlights yet at all. Well, here we go. We have one here, but it's uh, one minute into first half injury time, so... We'll see what happens here. Robertson plays it to Chan. Here is Mohamed Salah. 
Mo Salah to Coutinho, and he's uh, dispossessed by Coca. Here is Luciano Vieto, the substitute, and Kevin Gamero's through, and Gamero has scored, and an away goal for Madrid means that we've given ourselves lots of work to do now. Two goals we need to take it to extra time, so to score to win this game now, we're going to have to score three goals against a very informed Atletico Madrid. So I feel like this might be the end of our Champions League journey, but Gamero through and beats Mignolet. Right, let's try and give him a bit of motivation. Let's try that. Now, tactic-wise, you know, we had more shots than them last time. Let's go a bit more direct again. Let's try the thing we did last time that we did get a goal back from. So we'll try it. Another one by Atletico, and I think this will be uh, game over. But hopefully we can... Well, good run by Oxlade-Chamberlain. Running down that right flank, and uh, we've still got it. No, we haven't. Koke to Saul. Here he is again. Now Carrasco. And now uh, Gamero. And again, this is the same thing that happened last time. And that's tie over. It was almost exactly the same as the goals from the first leg again. That left flank. And this time it's Klein at right back. And it's just, it's not going well. This uh, thing with Atletico. So, there's me saying that of all the teams left, this would probably be one of the favourable ties. And we're losing 4-1 on aggregate. So, now, uh, three goals... Would make it 3 2 win on the night, but they'd have two away goals. So we now have to score four goals to go through. No chance. And we're into 50 minutes now. So uh, it's the end of the Champions League journey. Uh, making some subs already because I'm just not happy with this. Firmino to uh, Henderson. We could try and forge some sort of comeback, but I feel like it's going to be too much to ask. But Bellotti here to uh, Jordan Henderson and that shot straight at our black. <laughs> it's not going to be our day, is it? It's just not. There's only about 15 minutes left here. I mean, the defending today has been poor. That's what's let us down over this, these two legs is the defending. So, you know, 10 minutes left. We've limited it to 2-0 tonight. It could have been more, but it's just not great, is it? Oh, Gamera is put through Vieto, and it's a save by Mignolet. It's not over yet, though. Augusto. And uh, here's Gamera. Tackled by Matip. That's the end of that. Um, again, Madrid just been too good for us in this tie, haven't they? 87 minutes, you know, let's just try and keep this at 2-0. You know, try and get a goal back, one goal maybe. But I don't think we're even going to get that. Well, today we have won the league. We've already got the EFL Cup. We could still win the FA Cup. So a domestic treble could still be on the cards this season. But this season, we're not going to be getting the Champions League. So there we go. 2-0 on the night. Atletico win 4-1 on aggregate um, over the two legs. We just weren't good enough, were we? But a quarter final, I think, is really good. That's where we were expected to get. So it's just a shame that, you know, it's probably going to be the only one of the things we're not going to win this season. So that's a shame. A quarter final's fine. Uh, we've got the FA Cup semi final coming up. A double header against Southampton, I think, will probably be next episode. And then I think we will end with uh, the final league game. And if we get to it, the FA Cup final. And that will be it for the season. And uh, I am going to do one more season, seeing as we didn't win the Champions League. So next season, that's going to be the aim. Win the Champions League. And after that, we'll move on to whatever I do next. Um, I did do a video yesterday uh, or Monday night about what my plans would be. And it might be the fact that there's not going to be nearly as much Football Manager content, but there's going to be other gameplay on this channel. And there might be a big rebrand coming in 2018. But uh, there was a video about that put out the other day. I'll leave it in the description uh, so you can go and watch it if you want. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about it on this video because I feel like it's gone for too long. But that is going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like down below, leave comments. And if you want to see videos as and when they're up on YouTube, do hit that subscribe button. And I will see you next episode. Uh, I think we're going to do a double header against Southampton, FA Cup semi-final and the Premier League. Um, we've already beaten them in the EFR Cup final, so we're going to be facing them two more times. And then after that, we'll wrap up the league season, which we've already won. And uh, maybe play the FA Cup final, if we can get to it. Well, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.